we'll be sewing up a very practical home project in this episode. It'll add some new flair to your bedroom. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Janet. I upload weekly videos about sewing crafts and DIY projects. In this video, we're going to be making a very basic pillowcase. You can customize it to fit any size pillow you have. It came about because recently I got a new set of sheets for my bed, but I quickly realized that the pillowcases that came with the set were too short to fit on my pillow. So I thought I would DIY my own. Now, because I had several yards of this art gallery fabrics print and because it matched the sheets, this was my fabric contender. As long as you have a basic sewing machine, you'll be able to follow along on this sewing project. We are doing French seams, so there are no raw edges inside. Here's the pillow. It's downfilled and from Ikea. Measures 20 by 31 inches. To figure out how much fabric to cut, add eight and a half inches to the length for a pillowcase with a finished four inch cuff. For solids or non-directional prints, you can cut the width on the fold with standard quilting cotton. You should be able to get about 21 and a half inches. For directional prints, you'll need to cut two separate pieces, which will add one more line to sew. Let's get to cutting. With the yardage folded in half, I match up the fold with a line on my ruler and square up the edge of the fabric with a rotary cutter. From that edge, I cut the length of 38 and a half inches. To make it easier to cut the width of 21 and a half inches, I folded the fabric in half, lining up the freshly cut edges. Be sure to cut the selvages and not the folded side. The full piece measures 43 by 38 and a half inches. On the longer 43 inch side, fold and press over a half inch to the wrong side of the fabric. The Clover Hot Ruler makes this a lot easier. I like to glue baste this edge down with Elmer's washable school glue and a dry iron. Supplies used in this project are linked below in the description box. Fold that edge over another four inches and press the entire side. This time I also brought in the hot hammer for reinforcements. You can also glue baste this section as we'll be sewing it down shortly. We're going to edge stitch back at the sewing machine. Here are my settings with a stitch length of 3.0. You may have noticed I used a walking foot, and here I'm lining up the fabric edge with the inner edge on the metal foot. Because the needle position has been moved to 0.0, .0 it's closer to the left hand side. Edge stitch all the way down the inner fold. Take it to your ironing station and spread out. Here's where we start constructing the French seams. Place the fabric wrong sides together, folding in half at the long side. Glue baste as close to the raw edge as possible. You don't want to get glue past the seam allowance, which will be about a quarter inch. With longer lengths, I start at each end to line those up, then work my way to the middle so the fabric is distributed evenly. My sewing machine settings for a scant quarter inch seam are stitch length 2.5, Needle position 3.0. Line up the edge of your fabric to the inner metal guide on the brother walking foot. Stitch the entire long edge this way. Your seam should look something like this. Now's the time to clip stray threads as you don't want them visible after you finish the French seam. Turn the pillowcase wrong sides out. Press out the sewn edge the best you can using your fingers and an iron. Here are the settings to sew the second part of the French seam. Notice I changed the needle position to 4.0 and I'll be lining up the edge of the fabric to the outer metal guide instead of the inner guide. This seam allowance will be just under a half inch. Right here I'm sewing the cuff portion, so that's why the right side of the fabric is showing. A finished French seam looks like this. Flip the pillowcase right side out again and we're going to add a French seam to the shorter side now. Repeating those same steps.
time to turn the pillowcase right side out cause we're done. If there are any stray threads peeking through, carefully clip them off. The corners look absolutely perfect and square. All right, now that we're done, let's put it on the pillow and see how it looks. I don't know about you, but sometimes I struggle getting my pillow inside the pillowcase. Got any tips for me? All right, here we go. Ooh. All right, looking good. These are gonna go great in my bedroom. And I would say this is a pretty quick sewing project. Even if you're a slow sewist like me, you can probably make a set of two in a couple of hours, definitely. And of course I am filming while I make my stuff. So it always takes me way longer. And I would rate this project as being good for a confident beginner. There's not a lot of complicated parts to making a pillowcase. And again, you can make it for any size pillow you have, not just the one I'm making. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you are a beginner sewist. And I also have plenty of other videos here on the channel about using a sewing machine and also some other beginner friendly projects. So check some of those out. Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys again in the next video.